that account. Okay, we're here today with Terry Brock at MCO Construction and Betty and Maya and Ann McNeil. Terry. Sure show Betty too. She's oh, Betty. And hi, Betty. Say hi, Betty. Hi. Maya's were, were delightful. And Maya. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom Maya in here. Oh, wow. I can zoom. And you'll oh. be zooming on YouTube. Okay, I don't know how to zoom yet, Betty. I don't know Ooh, if it does I it got zoom. you, Maya. Oh. Up close and personal. Oh, okay, she doesn't yeah. like that. All right. So now, Terry, can you give us some encouraging words from your favorite book, which would be? My favorite book? Yes. Gee, it's hard to say my favorite book. There's oh. many. Think and Grow Rich is one of them. Okay. Uh, Atlas Shrugged, I think, is another one of my favorite. Yes. You know, Atlas Shrugged, which depicts where we are today qu quite accurately, even though it was written in 1957. And uh, does a lot of good things there. Think and Grow Rich is much like that because the principles from Think and Grow Rich still work today. If you want to know how to become not only a millionaire financially, but a millionaire in who you are in spirit. Become the person that you want and tap into the vast potential you have. Why not learn from those that are great, that have done it before? Napoleon Hill wrote the book Think and Grow Rich based on his interaction with the multi-millionaire and entrepreneur, self-made man, Andrew Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie, who came from Scotland, talked with and worked with Napoleon Hill for over 20 years, showing him the principles and letting him tap into the greatest minds of that time. And the principles still work. Yeah, they didn't use a whole lot of Twitter. They didn't do a lot with DVDs or Facebook or YouTube or any of that, but they used the principles that worked back then. So that's why those are two of my favorite books, Atlas Shrugged and Think and Grow Rich. All right. Thank you so very much, Mr. Terry Brock.